this week on our fabulous fucking show. Fucking when fucked clowns. up clowns We're take over America. No, seriously. Zombie land. I'd shoot those motherfuckers in the head. We're gonna taste test three Floyd's zombie dust. <laughs> Made from real zombies. Stick around, motherfuckers. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. Well, we're back. Yep. I was a little worried there. I realized we weren't that famous, so no one gives a shit. Membership has its privileges. Membership to what? Being a foul mouth cartoon nobody cares about. It's like we're zombies. Ah, convenient. Since we're going to do an episode on Zombieland. That was a fun movie. Fuck yeah. And Columbia and I have a similar set of rules. We don't have zombies. Yeah, but we do have clowns. Fucking clowns. I would double tap those motherfuckers back to their creepy fucking dimension. What was your childhood like? Like any other kids, clowns are fucking scary. I discovered beer and jerking off. Never looked back. Unless a clown's behind me. Then I use something I never use. Your head? What? No, never. Cardio. Rule number one, fuckface. When the virus struck, for obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. I'm gonna dress up like a clown to witness that. Then you may witness rule number two. One more clean shot to the head. Double cap, you prick. You'd shoot me? Don't get clown sneaky. I'll lose my shit. Okay, I'll pass. So I'll be here? He's also zombie related. Zombie dust by Three Floyds Brewing in Indiana. It's delicious. It's yummy. And it's 6.2%. Just enough alcohol. There's never enough alcohol. But yes, I'll agree. It's a really good beer. You want to review it before we dive into zombie land? Rule number 101. Beer first, my friends. Well, that's fucking stupid. That should be rule number one. Number one's already cardio time. Fuck audio. Beer. All the others move down. What about with the clowns? I'll carry my beer. Anyway, I'm going five. It's a really good beer in my expert opinion. But what the fuck are they doing down at Three Floyds? They should make a clown dust one. Use the remains of these ugly fuckers. I, I don't think they actually use zombies, Tommy. Whatever. Five beers for me. Well, I'm going six because again... I got nothing but love for tasty beers, and I suck as a critic. So if you don't know what Zombieland is, or a zombie movie for that matter, you're like every fucking person who's ever been in a zombie movie. Not knowing what the fuck to do to 12 of your friends, and that girl whose pants you were trying to get into are out to eat your flesh, or brains, or your asshole, or some shit like that. When do they eat assholes? If they bit a fucking clown, they've been an asshole. Enough said. So our first scene, we've already been discussing. Of course. It had to be a clown. Fuck. Ooh, creepy fuckers. Then at the end, he gets to get some clowny revenge on that motherfucker. Fuck this clown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hit that son of a bitch. You'll really enjoy this, don't you? If I were in charge, first thing that would go, clowns. Fuck them. And a rainbow hair. Big shoe wearing cocksuckers. Nobody needs shoes that big. You don't know what they say about big shoes. Cut your fucking toenails. That's how they get you. They slice your throat with the big toe. Holy shit. Okay, next scene. That's the uh, Bill Murray one. <laughs> oh, great scene, but very sad. You gotta admit, been chased around by zombies for fucking months. It's just a reaction. Yeah, you're right. Even Peter Vinkman should know that. It's tragic, but it's all in a day's work to try to get in a witch ties pants and see if the carpet matches the drapes. Sorry, he just gets me. <laughs> I really thought the clown had you uh, off your game there. That's your first sexual reference. Take a drink, people, if you're playing a drinking game. Yeah, the only thing that can really kill a heart on for me is a clown. What if it were a super sexy clown? Nope. All naked and hot, but still had makeup and rainbow hair. I'd have to shoot her and probably whack one out all over her fucking clowny face. And with that being said, our final scene. I could use a Twinkie. Twinkies. 
This poor fuck just wants one thing in this miserable, no porn existence. Where's the fucking Twinkies? I like some of them. I hate coconut, not the taste, the consistency. They are spongy deliciousness. I just want to rate this so I can go whack my uh, cream filling into a Twinkie thinking about Wichita. <laughs> you don't realize our show's become a drinking game, right? That was the reference a little earlier. Really? Every time you talk about sex, one drink. Every talk, time you talk about jerking off, two drinks. Every time you talk about social justice warriors or tiptoe around politics, three drinks. Fuck, you must get shitty-faced. I'd assume. Anyway, Twinkies. I think it's a really tender-hearted moment. Or moments. Rule number 32. Enjoy the little things. Tallahassee got his Twinkie. The man is facing certain death in this world of flesh-eating zombies. And all he wants out of life is a delicious Twinkie. Well, you really analyze that. And maybe what he really wants is to stick his dick in it. There you go, you gross fuck. <laughs> Drink, motherfuckers. Okay, ratings. Zombieland has an originality. And with something sort of new in all the fucking remake, reloaded, recut, hashed out bullshit. It made me laugh. Wichita made me horny. The zombie clown getting his face smashed made me proud. I'm giving it a 4.5. Great flick. I can watch it anytime. I agree. Except the clown part. I mean, great zombie kill. But I didn't feel pride. To each his own. To each his own. When someone annihilates a clown, that makes me feel good. Anyway, if Night of the Living Dead is the standard for zombie flicks, not sure that's the standard. Classic for sure. Probably Day of the Dead. Whatever. To me, it's a five. So I'll say four. It's a solid four. Yeah, comedy, action, some horror. All right. Next week, I'm not sure what's coming. I'm still thinking about it. So I'm going to go fuck a Twinkie. What is it with you and pastries? No, no. I'm sorry. The Twinkie is the slow chick of the bar, Natalie. Well, at least you didn't say the R word. What's the R word? You're not getting me into that fucking shit again. See you next week. Bye-bye, ass cracks.